Ah, beautiful nature in its finest state, a beautiful river flowing in summer. Isn't nature dazzling? Hello class, welcome to the world of nature, where we will be learning about the wildlife around us and natural beauties like the river. Hey, what happened to the lights? Who's that? No. No! Well, I'm glad he's gone. Hello, my name is Marth Vader. Vader, no copyrighted music. Sorry. As that person was trying to say earlier, rivers, and water for that matter, is a very good heat storing source. It might be summer right now, but let's wait four to six months and see what the water looks like then. Six months later. It is currently minus five degrees Celsius now. This water isn't frozen. Why is this? This is because water has a high heat capacity. It stores energy for longer, and when it tries to freeze, it will use the heat that it has stored. But how long will it take this water to freeze, you may ask? Let's say that the water is at a temperature of 3 degrees Celsius and has a mass of 2,000 grams. Because water's specific heat capacity is 4.186 joules, we would simply multiply those two numbers together, giving us 8,372. Now all we have to do is multiply that number by its change in temperature till it reaches freezing point, which is 5. We now have the number 41,860. That is the amount of joules needed to increase the water's temperature to freezing point. This means that the larger the mass, the more energy it takes for the temperature to reach a certain point. I'm on a roll. Why don't I teach you young a few more things about science? Six months later. Whoa, it's hot out. Have you ever wondered why when you're wearing black, you get very warm? Yes, you have? Well, I guess it's time for learning at the beach. First off, light is actually many colors. Light's colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. The reason why darker colors like black and violet heat up faster than colors like red is because black absorbs all colors and lighter colors do a better job at reflecting colors. Let's say I'm wearing a red shirt. Da -da 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 -da, there we go. This red shirt will absorb all the colors of light except for red. Red will reflect off of my shirt and will be visible to our eyes. This is why white is a better color to wear at the beach. It reflects all colors. Look at the time. I only have time to teach you people about conduction and convection, then I have to leave. As you can see, this coffee is very warm. As I was saying, this coffee is very warm. Because the coffee is warm, it will heat up the surrounding air, spread the particles apart, and the air will become less dense. Because the air is less dense, the hot air will rise. This rising air is also known as convection currents. Conduction is the transfer of heat through a solid. Say that you put a test tube with water over a fire. As you can see, the heat is passing through the test tube and evaporating the water. Well, that's all I have for you today. My name is Marth Vader, and drive safely.